Hey guys, Submoto here. So um, the next step on my SR500 is painting the tank. And um, I know a lot of you have been waiting on this episode on um, how to do this. Now, there are many different ways of painting a tank. But in my case, I have been extremely lucky painting uh, the tanks myself. And the quality is Actually, when you look at a tank that, uh, like the other, like the red tank on the GS550 that I made, you actually can't really tell the difference uh, whether it was made uh, professionally uh, or, or not. I mean, obviously, if you have a lot of you know, like uh, detailing and uh, you know patterns on there, obviously that would be better to have it done professionally. And there's no doubt that a professional painter is probably also going to be harder paint and, and you know in essence would probably be a lot better than uh, than doing it yourself but for the rest of us mortals who don't have the money uh, to get it painted professionally and it is quite expensive to get them painted actually um, what I do is I just get uh, regular paint cans and uh, the secret to the whole thing is the polish afterwards like once you lay your paint polishing it um, correctly is going to give you that right the correct um, uh, finish that you want. So um, anyway, Johnny has his uh, his SR250 uh, project that he has, and I've got my SR500, and uh, we figured we might as well do it together and paint, paint our tanks. So uh, and he, Johnny's never tried it before, and I've tried it two times before uh, with with success, and it's it's held up just fine. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, and uh, and start from scratch. So the first thing and the first most important thing is that when you have a tank, especially like Johnny's here, Johnny's tank, this is the stock paint, right? So this is the paint that came with the uh, with the machine when it was bought from new. And uh, this is not stock paint, obviously, um, but uh, if, and I'm hoping that the uh, primer on this is the original primer, because the whole point with this is to keep as much of the original paint as possible. Uh, underneath your your regular paint, and the reason for this is because the trick in painting usually is is getting it to stick, right? It, it like that when you see bad paint, it it the uh, end result is that the paint will just chip off, and that won't happen with the stock paint because the stock primer will stick to the metal uh, perfectly. So what you need is paint that will stick to paint, and acrylic paint will stick to uh, to stock paint um, the best. So if you paint on acrylic paint and you uh, sand it down just to give it a rough and, uh, roughen up the surface, then uh, then that will that will allow you to paint it and still have a good um, layer that'll stick on there perfectly because what's actually sticking to the metal is going to be the original paint. I'm hoping that he kept the original primer on this. Nevertheless, it seems like uh, it, it's you know it's pretty. It's not chipping off anywhere. I mean, obviously it's chipping off some places where it's got dents and stuff and where it's got hit, but. Um, but that that's it, and and also on this tank and on that tank we got a couple of um, I don't know if you can see them, but we got a couple of dents. Uh, Johnny has a little one there, yeah, and uh, we're gonna have uh, those fixed up too. Now and there are different ways of doing that as well, and um, you could punch out the dents uh, if you do it correctly. Some people use the suction cups, but in our case we're just gonna use putty and we're just gonna sand it down and and give it that shape because the dents aren't uh, big enough to cause uh, problems. So, first step is going to be sanding it down. I got some uh, 220 grit here, 200 or 300 grit is going to be just fine just to get the outer layer off. And, um, and then we have some uh, uh, 400 grit and some 600 grit. And usually 400 grit is going to be enough. And all we're going to do is we're going to sand it down just to roughen up the surface enough for the paint to catch. Nothing more. So that's uh, pretty much it. Then, uh, what I did is I, uh, I now I want to remind you all that I'm not a professional painter. I'm not pretending to be an expert. I'm, I'm telling you, this is how I do it. Okay, and uh, this has worked for me, and uh, the quality is. Uh, and I haven't met anyone yet that has been able to tell that it wasn't professionally painted. I'm not saying that I am a professional painter. Okay, if you are a professional painter and you got ideas or things I could do better. Um, Please let us all know because we're all learning. We're all in this together, right? So um, anyway, so I realized that uh, the primer on this is not the uh, factory primer, which sucks. It is on that, obviously. But um, 
But anyway, so you know, I I got down to the metal uh, on some parts, and um, that's not that good. So what I do um, to get past that is um, it takes some zinc primer and just uh, spray it on there, and that kind of protects it from rust, uh, just on on like spots and stuff, and that that works just fine. Next uh, step for me, uh, as far as this goes, is going to be um, working on these dents. And, and and I've used some stuff before. I haven't used this exact product, product uh, plastic padding. I've never tried it before. Um, so I'm excited to see how it'll, how it'll work out. And with the putty, and this is pretty much what it's going to be like for any kind of filler, there is a hardener. Now with this hardener, you just want to mix that in just a bit. Oh crap. Uh, so this is going to be the hardener and you want to mix that in. Should be enough right there. And mix that up. And this was going to be a challenge because um, this is exactly where it bends, like it's on the edge. So whenever I sand it down, I'm going to have to reinvent or re, uh, re-bend it to get the right edge on there. And as an artist, this kind of reminds me a lot of the um, the stuff that I work with um, as far as like uh, materials for sculpting and stuff like that. So, you know, there may be like a certain way of doing, of doing it and people screaming out there saying, what are you doing? But um, I'm like, if I can make a sculpture out of uh, putty and materials like this, then I should be able to get a freaking edge uh, to work. And like I said, it's all going to be in the sanding. I'm going to sand this sucker down, get the exact proportions that I need. And this one, this dent is going to be a lot easier because it's on the side. There's no actual um, uh, edge to it. So this one uh, turned out just fine. Um, as you can tell, there's, I mean, I obviously had to get down to the metal. Uh, doing this. So we're just going to use some zinc primer um, for that part and that'll be just fine. Um, once I put the primer, I'm going to sand down the primer also just to make sure that um, that there's no, you won't be able to tell where the primer starts and where it stops. So, um, so this is where the art is. <laughs> this is uh, like, turn, like the actual um, corner um, that I'm building up here. Um, this is, this is art. <laughs> as any art would be because it's um it's really in the detail and feeling it and figuring out where the edge goes and i can tell like there's a, too much right there and just like in teeny tiny spots at a time and that's you know it really really takes a lot of um feeling the edge and just taking a little piece of time takes a lot of patience too. So if you don't have patience, then pay for it because this takes a lot of patience. So once you've got your your uh, putty, all uh, your filler, body filler, all filled out, and you feel like you're confident, it's um, going to give you a smooth surface. What you use is what I use is um, zinc. Um, primer. And the reason for that, instead of just regular primer, you could just use regular primer, you know, for the parts that, uh, where you got down to the bare metal. But uh, zinc primer, uh, from what I'm told anyway, is supposed to be better at preventing uh, rust. So, anyway, so that's supposed to be a good thing. Anyway, so obviously before you start any of this, you want to clean it completely off um, and, and make sure there's no. Uh, like if you use anything to, you can use um, product to, uh, to to clean it off, so you don't have any any uh, grease on there. You don't want to touch it with your fingers once you've uh, greased, you know, wiped it off, and made sure it's degreased completely. In fact, I could probably just do this, and I'll be fine. There. Patience, short bursts, like that and then let it dry off a bit. And a good way to do that is just to move on to a different part of the tank. Bear in mind, this is just the primer. When you can kind of see it starts getting shiny like that, um, stop. And Because if you keep on painting on on like the shiny parts, it'll, it will uh, run. Okay, so I might sound a bit muffled. I got my mask on. 
Uh, what I use is Motip um, acrylic lacquer, car lacquer. Um, it's pretty good stuff. And um, what you need is a, is a good thick layer of this stuff so that you can polish it. And when you do polish it, um, it'll, it'll come out um, like a professional uh, look. So anyway, exactly the same procedure as the primer. Thin, thin layers at about 20 centimeters distance. And patience is key, like that. So once you've uh, you've painted the tank, um, I'm gonna have to do this again because uh, it's the first time I've tried to fix a dent like this. So um, I guess it's a learning process. But anyway, um, it might it, it might take a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how um, how I'm gonna do the uh, the stripes on there. Now the first thing that's uh, it's gonna be important is to uh, to do a mock up. Uh, I have a picture of the uh, the tank the way I want it. And it's about finding the exact same uh, dimensions and trying to figure out uh, what it's going to look like in real life compared to your picture. So, I've got some tape here. Um, this stuff is uh, 3M tape. It's, it's pretty good stuff. I mean, you can, you can twist this and turn it around and, and use it in a, a bunch of um, a different, different ways. It's a lot better than just regular um, uh, tape that you'd use for like painting walls and stuff. So um, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to match this up and I'm gonna mask it off and then I'm just gonna paint the black on there. So, so here it goes. Um, it just makes more sense. I can kind of tell right away. So it's gonna be right. There. You want to be real careful with this, because if you get any like air bubbles along the edge, knock, knock this sucker down. If you get any air bubbles around the edge, your paint is going to get in, especially around corners like this. You could try and measure this up like millimeter by millimeter. But to me, it's just a lot easier just to do it by feel. And this thin stuff right here is really good because you can actually, if you want to make like flames or, you know, uh, around corners, this thin 3M tape, um, you could actually bend it like that and make shapes. So it's, it's really cool. I'm, I'm going to have like three blocks. Obviously this is going to stretch on. Um, and the last block should probably be around here. I can tell, but I would want to have the same distance, uh, from edge to edge. So I'm going to go ahead and measure That's seven and a half centimeters. Seven and a half centimeters is going to be there. It's just fine. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and grab some newspaper and, and cover the rest, like all the uh, the parts that I don't want uh, painted. The only parts I'm gonna want is gonna be that, that, and that. So, and then I'm just gonna spray over it. So it's gonna be pretty easy. But before I do that, um, I wanna show you a quick trick um, cause I'm not gonna get around to it before I'm done with the actual layers. So what I'm gonna go ahead and show you is, um, is how to get that perfect finish. Um, when you're using spray cans, it's going to be near impossible to get the perfect finish. What I use um, a lot of times is, is this. Check this out. Aluminum polish. <laughs> I know they say don't ever use aluminum polish on paint. And you shouldn't, usually. But uh, when you're using spray cans and you put a lot of layers on there, um, the, the idea is get a really thick, thick layer. Um, of paint that you're going to have on there. You can actually, if you're careful, and mark my words, <laughs> be careful. Um, you can actually use aluminum polish, which is gonna be tougher than the, uh, the paint polish that you usually get out there. And all it, it really is, is, is uh, getting, out the, getting in there and, uh, and you can feel right away 
when it starts getting that that uh, professional look and finish. And if you do this right, and obviously be careful not to get through the paint. But it, like I said, if you got enough layers, if you got enough layers uh, of paint on there, you're going to end up uh, with a finish that's going to look just about as professional as anything you can get out there. Obviously, you're going to have a bit like some imperfections. See how it takes the paint off like that? That's uh, that's the danger, right? So you're actually removing removing a layer of paint um, and getting in there. So you have to have paint that you can remove, remove like enough um, of a thickness. And once you got that on there, like the uh, if you do that enough times, and here already, um, it it really gets cool uh, a cool finish. Now, when once I put the uh, stripe on there and painted that on, obviously I would cover the whole thing with. Um, with uh, clear paint, clear lacquer, and then I would polish that down exactly the same way as I showed you. Um, obviously with a good layer of, uh, the thicker the layer of your clear coat, uh, the, the shinier it's going to get and the prettier it's going to get. So um, let's get to it. So we've covered the rest up in, uh, in newspaper and um, here goes nothing. Got a brand new can of, uh, of black paint. That's it. We're gonna let it sit there for a while and dry. And uh, when it's uh, dry to the touch, we'll take it off and see what it looks like. And here goes. Look at that. Wow, that's a neat, neat edge. That is a perfect edge. Wow. Look at that edge. Can you see that? That is perfect. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> that is just like I pictured. One, two, three, and the long one. When you see it from here, obviously this one's this part's gonna be longer. Um so yeah, so uh so this is um kind of just to show you how I do this. Um I'm not saying this is how to do it, this is just how I do it. So um I, I you know the the I'm gonna have to do this again. Anyway, first of all, because of the uh, the dent that I you know I, I didn't really do this right, and um, I, I'm sure I can do it better. I need to wait on the paint, and uh, and then after that, put a clear coat on everything. Once I fixed like the small details, put a clear coat on everything, and uh, and then polish it down like I showed you. And that way, you'll have an awesome tank. It's that easy. And if you don't need to do this kind of stuff um, and just want to paint it, just go ahead and paint it. And you won't need a clear coat because a lot of times uh, Modip, for example, the paint that I use, already has clear coat in it. Um, so all you need to do is, is paint it and polish it up and there you go. That's it. And use the the primer that's already on the tank. There's no point in, in repriming the whole thing. Um, just use whatever's on the tank from the original uh, paint if you have that. And that's it. And that's it. It's that easy. And it's all in the polish. It's all in the polish. The finish, the perfect, the, the, the aspect of it, the people will, will, you know, be in disbelief as to that you did it yourself is going to be, uh, quite simply in the polish. That's it. Um, so, um, <laughs> hope that works out for you. It's going to be a while f before I'm done with this, but when it is done, obviously I will show you and, um, I hope you can use it. Um, if not, do enlighten me if, if, if you do it in a different way. If, you, if you're a professional painter, maybe, even better. If you have any tips. I've, this is the third time I've done this. Um, and the other two times, it seemed to hold out just fine. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Uh, so this works for me. Hope it works for you. So remember to subscribe and ride. And I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.